In this video, we'll go through a numerical example where we're going to use both the binomial and Poisson distribution to calculate uh, a given probability and see that they are uh, they come very close to each other. So a Poisson distribution is a good approximation to the binomial in, in certain cases. So for this example, you're asked to assume that 5% of the population is left-handed and we want to know what the probability that out of 100 people that you meet, at least two of them are left-handed. And you should calculate this both with the binomial and the Poisson distribution. And as usual, for examples, I encourage you to pause the video here and try it out on your own before uh, looking at the solution. So we'll begin by considering this from the standpoint of the binomial distribution, which has a probability mass function given by this. And we want to know what the probability, so here our random variable x is the number of people out of 100 that are left-handed. So we're interested in knowing what the probability is that this is at least two. And because probabilities have to add up to one, this is the same thing as saying one minus the probability the less than two of the uh, 100 people are left-handed. So we're considering the converse situation and subtracting that from one. And this comes again from, if you add the probability that there's less than two people and the probability that there's at least two people, that encompasses all of the possible results. So that has to add up to one. So the probability that there is less than two people is equivalent to the probability that there's only one person out of the 100 people that's left-handed plus the probability that none of the people uh, out of the 100 are left-handed. Okay, so if there's less than two, then that means that there's either one or there is zero. Or that there could be only one or that there could be uh, zero people that are left-handed. From our probability mass function, we can evaluate the probability that x is equal to zero. So here, the number of trials is 100. So we met 100 people. We want another probability that none of them was left-handed. So this is our uh, combinatorial factor. Since none of them was left-handed, we can uh, think of whether it's the most left-handed or not as being successful or not successful. So here we get p to the power of zero. This means that all of the people that we met were not left-handed and that happened with probability one minus p. In our problem statement, we, uh, we were given that 5% of the population is left-handed. So it means that the probability of encountering a left-handed person is 0 0.05. And this comes from the fact that we were given that 5% of the population is left-handed.
Okay, so plugging in our numbers over here. These cancel out, it just gives one. P to the power of zero is just one. So we're left with 0 0.95 to the power of 100, which is equal to 0 0.0059. Likewise, we can calculate the probability that one out of the 100 people uh, was left-handed. So now we again have 100 trials, we met 100 people. One of them was left-handed. The probability that this person was left-handed was 0 0.05, and we only met one of them. And that means that we met 99 people that were not left-handed. And that happened with probability one minus P, which is 0.95. And this is equal to 0 0.0312. So we found the probability of one out of the 100 people being left-handed and none of the people being left-handed. So we can use this to calculate the probability that at least two of them were left-handed by uh, subtracting the results that we found over here. So probability that one of them was left-handed was this, and the probability that none of them was left-handed was given by that. And this results in 0.9629 or about 96%. So 96% probability that uh, at least two of the people are left-handed. And you can see that that makes sense because uh, we were told that on average 5% of the population is left-handed. So we would expect on average five out of the 100 people to be left-handed. Okay, so this was a result using the binomial distribution. Now we're going to consider this problem from the, uh, the standpoint of the Poisson distribution. So the probability mass function of the Poisson distribution is given by this. And one of the properties was that the expectation value was given by this constant lambda. So lambda gives us the average value of our distribution. So what this means, remember in a problem statement, we're given that 5% of the population is left-handed. That's a... Uh, a statement on, on averages. So if you meet 100 people, you'd expect an average 5% of them. So that means that the average number of people you expect to meet to, uh, to be left-handed if you meet 100 people is the 5% times 100. This is the same thing as uh, I guess in this case it would be P and N. So number of trials, probability of success of meeting one person. This is equal to five. So using the same line of reasoning that we did before, we want another probability of at least two of them being left-handed. This is the same thing as uh, finding the probability that one of them was left-handed plus the probability that none of them were left-handed and subtracting those from one. Again, because uh, each one of all of these probabilities combined give all possible outcomes to this experiment. And the probabilities of all possible outcomes has to add up to one. The probability of none of them being left-handed as given by 
the Poisson distribution. It's given by lambda to the zero e minus five, which is lambda. So this is five and our x, little x is zero. So we have zero factorial, which is one. So this is e to the minus five which is about 0 0.00674. We'll keep lots of significant digits this time. Likewise, the probability that one of them was left-handed. You have five to the one, e minus five. So remember five was our lambda. And here you have one of the, one of them was left-handed. And this results in five times e to the minus five, which is about 0 0.0337. So that leaves us with the probability that at least two of them are left-handed as one minus the probability that one of them was minus the probability that none of them was left-handed. This is about equal to 0.9596, which is again about 96%. Okay, so over here, we uh, just plugged in our numbers for this. So probability of at least two of them is one minus the probability of one being left-handed minus, so here I've distributed the negative sign minus the probability of none of them being left-handed. Just to have it as a reference, we have found with the binomial distribution, the probability of at least two of them being left-handed was 0.9629. With the Poisson distribution, nine five. Nine, six. So you can see that the relative error is extremely small between these two. And this shows that under the circumstances of this problem, the Poisson distribution is a very good approximation to a binomial. And finally, in the next video, we'll go through an example where uh, we're only going to use the Poisson distribution to uh, calculate certain probabilities about uh, births in hospitals.